Hello students, it is a small brief introduction regarding how to make use of a library using your MIS. So, first of all uh, you need to log into your MIS. Once it is logged in, then from the main menu you have to go to the library. You may find so many options here, first is of ebooks. We will have a small introduction on ebooks later. Then the second option is new arrival. As you click on the new arrival option, whatever books are newly arrived in the library is displayed here. You can see the books title is displayed over here, be the next as you see and all the details, book number as well as. So, if you, if you have uh, noticed the title of the book, it, it will be easy for you to locate this newly arrived book in the library. The second, third option which is uh, the main one in the uh, MIS, it will be very helpful for you when you uh, access the library properly. For example, if you want to uh, search for a book in the library where it is kept, whether the book it is available or not, the book which is mentioned in your syllabus is available in the library or not and this is for that purpose. First of all, you see already by default the title is selected here. Uh, you, uh, whatever whatever uh, books you want to search, just enter the uh, keyword of that one. For example, I am just entering uh, psychology here. So, anything related, any the, those books available in the library related to psychology will be displayed here. Uh, you need to remember that uh, the book should be selected from the drop down. Do not enter the whole title, may not be, be uh, if the book it is no, book is not available in the library, it may not be shown here. Therefore, enter a few uh, keywords and the uh, if the book is available in the drop down, select from there. For example, I am just uh, selecting this, uh, this book. As I selected the particular title, you can see in that title how many books are available in the library, how many copies are available in the library. It is shown as three. Now, you have, to, you have to check whether this book is available or it is issued or it is uh, withdrawn from the library. That status you need to check. For that, you have to click on the first one. If you are using mobile, just uh, touch on this one. So, so the, uh, the second option is shown here, right? In the mobile, uh, it will be shown under this one. So, the book is shown as available. If you have found that there is a tick in this one, which means the book is reference book. So, the, a small uh, briefing regarding reference books. Reference books are those materials which can be read and used only in the library. It is not allowed to issue. Okay, you cannot take the books outside the library. So, as you have seen here, the book is already available and how to find the book, how to locate the book, you have to come to the secondary information where the rack and shelf is already mentioned. The rack is divided according to the subject basis. For example, this book is belong to the psychology, so the rack is psychology. The psychology section, you have to reach the psychology section and reach near shelf number 12. See, uh, one, one almara has got five shelves. It depends upon the almara's height. Some have, have got uh, five shelves, some have got uh, four shelves, some have got uh, six shelves like that. So, each, each shelf is numbered and so you have to reach near shelf number 12 and look for the book number which is mentioned as access number. So, when you reach near the psychology section and shelf number 12 and searching for this number, you will get this book. So, that is all about uh, the opaque section. If you are aware about the accession number which we have already told this one, so as you enter the 242704, you can just particularly search only that book. You will not get all other books uh, uh, information. Uh, then the author option, you can search books by author also. How to search by author? For example, the author of the previous book which we have searched was Kapoor M. So, the actual name of the author is M. Kapoor. So, whenever, whenever we uh, enter the details in the library, we usually take the surname as the first name, then followed by the first name. So, if you are searching books uh, uh, by the author's name, then you have to uh, enter his surname first, then comma and first name's initial. So, it is, it is already displayed here, Kapoor M. So, then click on this one. So, all those books written by the particular author will be shown here. So, this author has got 12 books and these 12 books are available in the library. 
uh, in order to check the status of the book, you have to press on this one and the book's details will be available. You might have noticed a small function over here, view images. Since these books are very old ones, uh, which we uh, we have we couldn't uh, collect the images of those books, so therefore the book's image is uh, not available. Otherwise, all those books which has got a 35,000 series above books, we have got we have already mentioned the uh, cover pages of the book, so, so, so that you can just uh, confirm whether the book which you are searching for is particularly this one or something else. So this view image section will help you with regard to that one. If you are, if you know about any publisher name, then that enter the uh, publisher details. For example, as we have seen here, the Sage publication. The particular book's publication is Sage publication. So just enter the publication name. So it will come in the drop down. Then select from there. So all those books available under the Sage publication will be shown here. It is taking time because Sage publication has got, see as we have seen here, it, here the particular publisher has got 1650 books. So all those books list is already shown here. So you can select any, any book which one you want according to the publisher. One more other easy facility is according to subject. For example, if you want just to uh, search for a book under management, just enter management. So you will get so many options, career management, financial management, human resource management, select any of this one. You are looking for just a management book, then press on that one. So all those books falls under this management will be displayed here. As I have already told, this it will take time because it has got a huge data. So under management, you have got 2212 books. All those books details will be shown here. See, you might have noticed a red color is. Uh, falling on this particular books which means as you click on this one it is shown here write off or else it will be shown as withdrawn or else it is shown as lost which means this book previously it was here in the library but due to some reason it might have been lost or it is a old edition therefore we have a withdrawn or a return of the book that is why it is shown as uh, red in red color so don't look for the book those books which falls under red color all those other books are available here. As you click on this one, you can see the see the status of that one. Yeah, same like under the subject. See, all those books falls under this uh, red uh, red color. Please uh, don't full, uh, look for those books because it may not be available. See, as I have already told you, the status of the book will be write off, withdrawn, or lost, except the, uh, this uh, uh, those books which are not in red color you can uh, look for the, all those books okay it will be available sometimes it can be issued also the book can be issued also if it is issued it will show issued so this is another one the next next option is member mem uh, membership details so it is shown here how many books can uh, how many days you can keep the book uh, the the next option is you can see as membership details so your rules membership uh, rules uh, have been uh, shown here you can how many uh, the day number of days allowed here is shown how many days you can uh, fine uh, is charged for books uh, then uh, there is a option of a book bank book bank option also uh, this book bank option as i am a staff of this college it is shown as a 30 days i am allowed to keep 10 books uh, when it is uh, student it will be uh, uh, you can uh, you are allowed to keep two books as a UG student you are allowed to keep uh, two books at a time and as a PG students you are allowed to keep uh, four books at a time and the number of days you are allowed to keep is 10 days and the uh, fine charged on you if you are late to return the book then that is two and then you have got the book bank option book bank option is especially for the reserved categories like SC, ST or OBC uh, all those uh, category uh, I mean uh, financially down categories so students have got this option and this is mainly under the scheme of uh, uh, the government scheme. Uh, you have got another option also reserve book mm, as a students you are allowed to uh, reserve two books and the maximum reservation uh, days allowed to you is uh, three. This next option is the current transaction all those books uh, you have been issued will be shown here. Uh, currently whatever book is uh, is with you will be shown here the next option which i have already told you reserve option for example uh, 
Saturday, Sunday used to be a holiday, well, for example, second Saturday and Sunday. So, when you come on Monday, if you want to uh, get a particular book issued, it may not be uh, always possible that the book uh, will be available in the li library because uh, in your class, there are many students who will be uh, wanting to issue that book. For, ju just for that purpose, we have given the reserve book option. Uh, prior to the uh, coming to the library, you can reserve the book so that the book will be issued only to you. Uh, no to uh, anyone else. Once the reserved period is over, only then the book is allowed to issue by someone else. Otherwise, it will be reserved only to you. Uh, you same like you need to enter the title of any of the books. It will come in the uh, uh, drop down. For example, I have just psychology. So, all those books related to psychology will be shown here. And if I click on this one, it will be reserved. So, make sure that if you are uh, if you want to issue only, then only you reserve the book. Uh, if you are sure about issuing, then only you go for reserving or else please do not unnecessarily click on this one, uh, otherwise uh, nobody will be, other students may not, will not be able to issue the book. So, you will, you can see the title of the book, the number of the book, who is the author and what is the status of the book and it belongs to which uh, uh, rack, I mean which subject section and what is the shelf number given there, all these things are already displayed here. The next one is a transaction history, all thought, uh, throughout your uh, career, whatever books you have been issued will be uh, shown here. It will be according to the year wise, okay. Every first year, all those books, whatever you have issued, it will be shown here. Second year, whatever, if you want to see your first year transaction or your second year transaction, you will have to log into that previous year and then you can cross check with this one. So, whatever fine, if you are late, uh, late to return the book, all those books the fine will be uh, shown here. The, the next option is a reissuing of a book. If you have issued the book and you want to extend the date of that particular book's time, then it can be reissued from here. You will get the book's details over here and then in the green, uh, green color, under the green color there is a reissue option. Remember the reissue option is available only on the particular date of uh, return which was already given from the library. Uh, so, remember you can reissue only on that day or before that one. Once the date is over, then you won't be allowed to reissue the book. What you have to do? You have to return the book to the library. So, that is all a uh, small briefing about how to make use of the library, how to uh, utilize the library through MIS. That is all fine. Thank you.